This is my review of the 2019 NRS Osprey. Woo! <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Now, I know this looks bad and all, but uh, this is my first time on a paddleboard ever. And I started out, uh, you know, with some whitewater. This kayak is, I mean, you could do some, a little bit of whitewater on it. I could see it putting up with some. I mean, it handled this pretty well. It just bucked me off. But, uh, yeah, this is made mainly for fishing more than whitewater. Here you can see you got it rigged up with my ice chest, fishing pole, speaker, everything. Everything I need is on this board and it fits perfectly and I absolutely love it. Now this board has some really awesome features. Tons, tons of tie down spots as you can see. And two more rod holder placements. If you want that, I put my cooler, I mean I think can't really see the impression anymore but uh usually put my cooler about here so it gives me room room to stand up and all that stuff if i want to and man i've had i've had me and someone else and all my gear on this thing i mean yeah it's more of a challenge to paddle but it's pretty awesome you can have you have that option in case you never know what'll happen on the river the bag you get with this thing is pretty cool. Um, it's got some straps I didn't bring out with me. They kind of, they fall off all the time. They're kind of annoying, so I just left them off. I don't ever really use it as a backpack ever. It's nice and ventilated. So everything in here gets dried out pretty easily. And there's some straps inside I really don't ever use. I just chunk everything in there. I'm not the uh, more organized type, I guess you'd say. I just get the job done. It's an awesome paddle board. It's my very first one. Uh, my balance sucks. And I thought, no way I'd fish from this thing. <laughs> but I aired it up. I mean, the, the width of this thing, I'll, uh, I'll put beside over here somewhere uh, what the actual width is. It's, it's a pretty wide uh, paddle board. And, uh, I have no problem balancing on it, and unless I get a few beers in me. <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's an awesome, awesome thing to get just because, you know, I've been kayaking for years and I wanted something different, something I could pack in the back, throw in the back of my car and be done. This thing's perfect, perfect for that. And NRS makes a fishing one, which is right up my alley. I like to mix the two up. I can't just do one and be happy with that. The uh, price point on this, a little pricey. It's a little over a thousand. I got it on sale though. I think 900, close to 900, a little over 900 maybe. Um, of course, if you're a bigger fella, you know, I'm about 6'3", about 250 pounds. And uh, this thing does wonderful for me. Uh, if you're a bigger fella, you may get the other one with the, I don't remember the name, but it has a little side floats that you got to air up to. Um, it just seemed like more work for me, and yeah, it just looked like you could, you can't turn as quick. I like this because I like going on rivers a lot. All right, well, 
pumping this thing up, uh, I don't know how long it takes. You just kind of lose track of time while doing it. You just want it to be over as soon as possible. It's not very fun. Uh, once you get done pumping it up to PSI, which it takes forever, you're exhausted. You don't really want to go paddle boarding afterwards. You just <laughs> want to pack it back up and go home. <laughs> it could just be me though, but yeah, it's, it's a challenge. pump you get with it, very standard pump, put air in, put air out. Basically once you get up to PSI, take this little red thing out, makes it a little easier, but get an electronic pump and don't get one. I've seen them on Amazon sell for pretty cheap, which is nice and all, but they, the reviews are saying they're blowing fuses and all that crap and it, they even come with, they give you spare fuses for your vehicle because they know it's probably gonna happen so screw that I got one that hooks up to your battery directly to your battery ain't got to worry any, anything about that pumps up only to 15 psi um, and this board particular board I think goes up to 22 and um, I didn't even pump it up that high I just go like 18 19 20 something like that in that range and that that board's plenty stiff enough uh, I don't have any issues with it flexing in the water and all that stuff so, plus I'm paranoid about blowing up or something. I, it's just me. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the fin box. So, you'll receive this paddle board with two different fins here. One for flat water paddling and the other one for going down the river. They both work fantastic and I haven't really noticed any performance difference between them. Other than, you know, of course, get hooked on rocks a little. A little less often with this one. Um, fin box. Installing a fin. Very, very simple. Very simple and very secure too. I haven't had any issues with this at all. So all you do, take that back in. Uh, get that stuff out of the way. That. Throw that clip in. You're done. Good to go. I do wish NRS would make some like rubber kind of fins so i ain't gotta worry about it breaking but i don't know maybe they got their reasons for it but it's still pretty solid I'm not too worried about it uh, there is a d-ring up at the very front which is nice very very nice little feature i've used it many many times uh multiple cases scenarios to just tie down on the bank or whatever but like I said, this thing, <laughs> there's so many dang tie down points on it, it's insane. Yeah, here's some other adventures I've been on with this paddle board. I mean, the features are just limitless with this thing, man. I've, I've used it for snorkeling, all that stuff. I just throw everything on it. It's so nice to have like a little floating island, pretty much. You can just take whatever you want on it. The weight limit, I think, I asked NRS, and it's like 800 pounds to fully submerge it, which is ridiculous. So you're good throwing any old thing on this. Just the more weight you have on it, the uh, harder it's going to be to control and you know less balance. So I hope you enjoyed the video. That rounds up my uh, review of the 2019 NRS Osprey. If you enjoyed this video as well as any others on my channel, please like and subscribe. Thank you.